What's up, mobile gamers? It's Drones or Gigs. We've got a nice video for you here. It's probably going to be pretty short. This is the Iris skin that I wanted to showcase for you guys. As you probably know, I'm a major support player, and there's only two support heroes in the game, and those support heroes are Iris and Chemist. And so we're going to go ahead and look at Iris's skin real quick here. This is the Synthetic Angel. Now, this is a really cool skin. I've actually had it for a while since around season zero i think is when it came out um and the animations are super cool but the skin itself is really simple so there's not gonna be a lot for me to go over here so as you can see this is her gun it's pretty simple it's just kind of like a uh, like a scanner it's got the ammo count there so not too much going on with that but the overall skin itself she's kind of got like a medic vibe and a cyborg aesthetic so you can see she's got mechanical arms there she's got the medic outfit in green and then i do like the fact that her little earrings there are actually pills i'll go back here so you guys can see that a little bit better so she's got kind of like some headphones on and then some pills there for her earrings and then the bot also has like that green and white kind of medic vibe that you get so that's really cool her hands have the i think that's so cool just the little animations they put in to these skins is super cool so as you can see her hands also have the little medic symbol on them as well as she kind of has the the headband there that old school medics have in like world war ii movies and stuff like that and then her hair is also kind of like floating as like a, a cyborg aesthetic. So you guys will be able to see that a lot better once we get into the match here. All right, so we got Penthouse Gallery. This is a pretty decent map. Um, I believe they have a zero Kelvin on their team if I'm not mistaken. So we're gonna check and see if they have a tank on their team. Looks like we don't have a tank, so... Yep, they do. So we are Three, going to two, primarily focus one. on healing the Start Gloria, theory. more than likely. Health check. And then we've also got... I put this on here, 404 page not found, because I think it's cool. I think it fits the, the cyborg vibe that we've got going here. And then you can see her hair kind of... like is like a, a free-floating... Alright, well. That's awesome. So it looks like this may be a relatively quick game. Looks like the Zero Kelvin actually got one of those kills. And they're just going to run out and die immediately. So Now we're prob we're not going to beat the Zero Kelvin at all. But we're going to oh, see if we can't get our teammates to help out here. And they are nowhere to be found. So unfortunately the Hualing is super good and our team is super bad. And as you can see, the Zero Cub is going to follow his snowball around. We almost got him. Looks like he retreated there. Let's see if we can't dodge some of these swallowing shots. Alright, looks like they're going to push in here, so we're going to activate our ultimate. And we did get her, so I'm not sure if that was just lag or if we ended up getting her at the same time. I would say the Hualing is the one you have to worry about when you're a healer because she can one-shot you. So because I'm able to heal myself, we're going to get this Kelvin that's behind us here. Alright, so as you can see, it kind of just depends on who you're facing. And whether or not they're good, because everybody's saying Zero Kelvin needs a buff, but this Zero Kelvin is pretty easy to handle. As long as you dodge his snowballs, you don't really have a problem. And I can heal all my teammates when they get hit with the snowballs. So the Hua Ling is actually going to be the biggest problem here for our team. I'm going to see if, yep, so it looks like oh, the Skady actually got us. But the Hualing shot was really close, so could have gone either way for them to get that kill. 
We're going to see if we can't drop down and help our skatey here. She's going to go the other way. Alright, and our ultimate did not go down and then it went down very far away. So we're going to see if we can't get the zero Kelvin here. And I do have her passive, which is also a really good passive. Whenever anyone on our team gets a kill, it drops health packs. So we definitely still have a chance to win this if we can... Yep, okay. The Hua Ling is very good, unfortunately, so she's going to be pretty tough. We have no SMG heroes, so the Hua Ling pretty much has free reign on the map. And then my teammates are just not very good in general, so that's another downside to the game that we're having right now. See if we can't help our Gloria out. To so as you can see, the Gloria got the zero Kelvin pretty easily, even though she is an overall not very good player. So we're going to focus here on the Skatey. And also I wanted to let you guys know, the Flybot actually gives you a damage boost. See if we can't get this swalling. All right, so she stunned us, but it looks like she threw us pretty far away. Okay. We're gonna activate our I'm ultimate. Right here. And I messed that up because they didn't actually push when I activated it. So they really do need to buff her range on her pie bot because I wanted to heal to Gloria, but I couldn't. We're going to help out our skatey Double here. Kill. So as you can see, we got him pretty easily just with, you know, playing and flanking and stuff like that. So I wouldn't say Zero Kelvin's really a threat. I know a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, his snowball damage can one-shot some of the smaller heroes. But I don't really think he's that much of a threat, especially if you are a good player. We're going to drop down and help our Gloria here. You can't see all right, so it looks like we died the last second there. Really close game. I wasn't expecting us to win, but we did a lot better than I thought we would. The Hua Ling, I think if she was a little bit, like if she was an average player, we probably would have done a lot better just because she wouldn't have been able to headshot us too much. But I also have some circuitry here for the banner frame. I thought that was kind of a good mesh with the cyborg theme so no challenger bonus just an svp no big deal there we're gonna hop into another game here i think this is a super cool skin it's really underrated um i'm pretty sure it's actually an epic we'll see if we have time to we don't have time so it's i'm pretty sure it's an epic because it doesn't change any of her animations but either way even for an epic it's super cool um, it's really unique. There's not a lot of skins that have a a cyborg feel to them, especially when there's a lot of heroes that could benefit from it. Um, you know, like they have a Sindri on their team. I do know Shell has like a cyberpunk kind of aesthetic to one of her skins, but I would say that it's not the same as like the cyborg medic skin that we have here. I think it's almost a different type of skin. So we're going to try to help out the Ruby. She is not staying close to us. So it looks like she did get the kill and survive. So that's all we needed there. Even though we died, the whole point of being a medic is to help out your team. So I'm totally fine with trading two kills for my death if it means that my Ruby can survive. She's also a very aggressive Ruby. A lot of Rubies aren't aggressive because Ruby is kind of like an off tank, and so she doesn't get kills as fast as a lot of the other tanks. And she also doesn't have the survivability that the other tanks do, so that's why I would actually almost classify her as support, even though she technically isn't. We're going to try to help our skatey out here get that shell. She got her. We're going to try to stick by the Ruby. The Ruby is not... It's kind of like a two-way street. You have to stick by your healer if you're the tank. That's what your game plan is. And it looks like our Ruby does not have that game plan. So no worries. We're going to drop a little emote down there. See if we can't help the Ruby out a little bit better.
And we're gonna go ahead and destroy this real quick since our gun doesn't have tons of damage against enemy heroes. So as you can see, the health pie bot that I gave her there was able to help her survive through that battle. And then when I was ulted, she was able to pick up the kill. So it just shows that when people are targeting the healer that you can actually use that to your advantage. So I knew that they would target me, so I made sure that the ruby was not going to be the target and that she had enough health to get that kill. And we are also we're winning 12 to 3, so I'm going to be a little bit more aggressive here just cuz our ruby's doing pretty good. And I also can't seem to find any of the enemies here, so we're just going to keep looking around for them. We'll find them eventually. This is a pretty big map. Another thing a lot of people don't realize is that the Piebot actually has a burst heal. So if you've already got a Piebot, like we have a Piebot on them right now, you should always wait until later to activate the Piebot. So like if I would have had it on cooldown there, I could have given myself a burst heal and then use that to my advantage to probably finish off the mark. But because I wanted to show you guys the downsides of not activating it, right away when you're in a fight. I kind of died, but that's all right. I'm not too worried about that. So we activate it here so that we can repeat that corner. Looks like they are being very defensive. We are beating them 17 to six, so it's a pretty one-sided game. We're gonna go try to help out the Skatey here. So as you can see, the Skatey got that kill. And she more than likely would have died if she hadn't had our pie bot. So I just really like support plays. Just it's, has always been the way that I play the game. And obviously you can't activate abilities during Shell's second ultimate. So it's a free kill for anybody that's not a tank. Unless I guess if the Shell is really bad, she might not be able to kill you. But I'd be pretty surprised to see a Shell not be able to kill you during that ultimate. So we only need one more kill. It looks like we're gonna actually chase them into our, their okay. spawn here. I'm right here. Victory. And the skatey got the kill. She's probably gonna get MVP since we died a few times. Yep. I just wanted to show you guys how you're supposed to play support because I know a lot of people will ask that and they think that. So like if you look, I've only got two knocks, but um, my damage to heroes was pretty good and my HP healed was forty-seven thousand. So I healed and took more damage than I did. So as you can see, that's kind of how you play support. So you basically never get support MVPs if you're playing it right because you won't be getting kills. And unless you do like, if you do average and the rest of your team does average, then you will get the MVP just because the healing is enough to bump you up. But if you're facing off against a damage dealer and they get like 10 kills and you only get 5, then you're obviously not going to get the MVP. But as a support, that doesn't really matter too much. So I really like the interactions Iris has with her pie bots and all her skins. It's super cool. This is a super simple skin, so I just wanted to showcase it for you guys and talk about why I like support. So hope you guys enjoy the video. Drop a sub if you want. We'll be putting out another couple of videos this week as well. And you guys have a good one.